Hi guys, it's Asia and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my um, wet twist out. Um, this is how I wear my hair most of the time, like throughout the entire week. Um, my wash and goes take a ridiculously long time to dry and I would just rather twist my hair up at night, go to bed, wake up, diffuse it a little bit and then go. So this is what I do most of the time. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I know I wear my well I haven't really I don't think I've worn my hair in a tutorial like in a video like this before but I was like I figured if I'm gonna be wearing my hair like this I should show you guys what I do and um this is my first day here so it's a little bit flat um normally like I kind of like to call this my imitation wash and go because it looks kind of like my wash and goes but just not on the first day. I'll probably um, insert a clip at the end of this video so you guys can see what my hair looks like on the second or third day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see how I keep, get my hair like this, keep on watching. The things that you'll need for this tutorial are a tangle teaser, some olive oil, a styling agent, some water in a spray bottle, some bobby pins, some duckbill clips, and a possibly a blow dryer with a diffuser attachment and a satin scrunchie. This is my hair the morning after I've twisted it. Um, I didn't get a chance to film me twisting it but I twisted it using the products that I explained and I have on my robe because I don't like the air from the diffuser touching my neck and I have on my glasses because the diffuser will dry out my contacts. So I'm just removing my scarf and this is what my twists look like underneath. I always feel like I look so crazy, but the glamour will come at the end. So when I twisted my hair, I twisted it in four sections. Each section, well the back two sections have four twists in them, and the front two have five twists. So three in the first layer, and then two in the second, and then the back are two on the first layer, and two in the bottom layer. And the twists in the front are flat twisted, so the three at the top are all flat twist. I curled the pieces in the front of my head with bobby pins so that they would have an equal amount of shrinkage to the hair in the back of my head. So you want to take your handy dandy blow dryer and you want to attach the diffuser head. And my blow dryer is set for medium heat, high speed. take a quadrant of my head and I just of hair and I put it in the diffuser cup and then I just cup it to my head and I diffuse the twist so that I can make sure that all of them are thoroughly and completely dried. I do that with all the sections all over my head until I feel like they're dry for the most part like until each twist feels dry. Once that's done then I move on to the next step. Now that I feel like my hair is dry, I'm going to go ahead and untwist my twist. Um, I like to just kind of slide my hand down the twist and start to unravel. When you are twisting your hair at night, you want to make sure that you do not mix your sections together. Do not borrow. Otherwise, you will be doing like what I'm doing here and you'll get these little frizzy pieces that come out because you tried to borrow from your twist. So it is very important that you do not borrow from each section on purpose. These <laughs> that you see me doing are by accident. just being very careful while I'm doing this to try and create as little frizz as possible because I do need my twist out to last me an entire week without having to retwist it at night. This is what my hair looks like once all the twists have been taken down. Um, I know some people wear their hair like this and it looks good on them but I feel like this looks absolutely crazy on me. My hair needs, it needs some more attention. So this is what the back looks like, just freshly untwisted, no fluffing, no anything. Um, now I'm just taking the diffuser because I felt like some of the pieces weren't completely dry and I just want to make sure that everything is 100% dry before I start separating pieces. This is my hair after I've let it cool. Um, while I'm letting my hair cool from the diffuser, I just go and I do my makeup, you know, waste a little bit of time. 
And right now I'm about to unravel the twist, so I'm just sectioning them off so I can, um, you know, just specify to that area. I put a little bit of olive oil on my hands and just so that the hair doesn't get too frizzy. And I only separate each twist chunk into two pieces. I only separate it once, so I don't separate each other piece. You, you guys can see what I'm doing. I only separate each twist chunk once. And this keeps from having too much frizz and it makes my hair last longer throughout the week and it makes it look a little bit curlier as opposed to too fluffy. I have now separated all of the twist chunks and my hair is really, this is really drawn up to me. Normally my hair is like a lot bigger than this so this is, this is not even how I would really want my hair. But I'm just kind of trying to fluff it out much, um, blend any part lines, you know, get it together as best I can for first day hair, making sure all my twist chunks are separated properly. To elongate my hair some more, I'm taking my hair and I'm putting it in a high bun and I'm just going to wrap my hair around itself, you know, swirl it into a bun and then I put my satin scrunchie on top of it and I leave it like that for, I guess, however long I'm going to be at my house until I leave, so 30 minutes to an hour or something like that and it stretches it out a little bit more. This is my hair after it's been in the scrunchie for about 30 minutes and you can definitely see the difference. Um, it stretched it out a little bit. Um, I feel like it, when it's in the scrunchie for a, for a while it kind of defines the curl more like the um, curls have more time to kind of clump together and settle in as opposed to just being like really extra like fresh and just kind of frizzing up right away. So I feel like it kind of sets the style. I just wanted to insert this clip right quick of me showing you guys um, how my hair looks on the fourth day. This is when I like my hair the best because, I don't know, it's gotten a little bit frizzier, it's gotten bigger, and to me it resembles my wash and goes a lot more. And it's like having a wash and go without the time, um, without waiting for it to dry. So, um, this is my twist out. Um, on day four and it's it's super soft and um, my twist outs have to last for seven days so it, it needs to still be soft and moisturized on um day four at the very least and the olive oil does a really good job of keeping it keeping it moisturized and um yeah so if you guys want to take a look at my um wash and go video you can see it's kind of similar now that my hair has gotten a little bit longer um, I like wearing the center part now because with the side part um, the front of my hair is too long it just it hangs down too long and it's irritating so I do the middle part now but yeah I just wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like on um, the fourth day a more um, fuller wash and go-y type look so yeah um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time